Speed up your internet, reduce the ping, remove any lag, make your bullet register. Just by changing one option on your console. MTU. Is that always true? No. And I'm here to put an end to this misinformation. Before you go to the comments and say, I did test it and it worked. It's amazing. It fixed all my issues. Please wait. Watch this video to the end and then we discuss. What is MTU exactly? Let me show you an example. Let's consider it as a pipe which is a tunnel between you, your router and the game server. It has a volume and things would pass through it. If something is bigger than the pipe size, it can't pass through. MTU in network is like that pipe limited size. If things that we call data packets are bigger than that, they can't pass through. However, if they can't fit with the MTU size, they usually will break up into smaller sizes so they can fit into that. This process to make a larger packet smaller is called fragmentation. The fragmented packets that pass through will later rejoin each other once they reach the destination. MTU size is usually shown and measured in bytes. One byte equals 8 bits. That's why when your internet speed says 80 megabits per second with a small b, it means 80 divided by 8 equal to 10 megabytes per second with a capital B. The maximum size for the MTU is 1500 bytes. What is a packet exactly? It's a piece of information or or data, those 0 and 1, broken into a smaller pieces. For example, when you shoot a bullet in the Call of Duty, there is data information, where you are standing, how far you are from the target, which weapon you are using, and how many bullets you shoot. Those data are packets that get sent through your internet connection. When a game says you have packet loss, it means some of this data didn't reach the destination, either because of the MTU size or because they couldn't get fragmented. On PS5 and PS4, when you make a test internet connection, even if you have MTU on default or 1500, you may see this error that packets can't be fragmented. In this case, your best bet is to call your ISP so they will guide you what to do in your router to fix this issue because it can cause packet loss, inconsistency in ping, and more in some cases. Not all games will use the maximum empty. Remember, most games don't need to send big packets. If I go deep down into packet parts like headers, payload, and layer tree, you will get lost. Let me make it as simple as possible for your daily uses. So usually there are a few devices between you and a game server. Say your PS5, then your router, and then the game server at the very least. It doesn't matter if your PS5 is set to send 1500 bytes at maximum, if your router is set incorrectly or the game can't accept 1500 bytes, it can cause issues. Some people believe that lower MTU as long as you don't get the message of fragmentation is good and it's gonna help you, while it's not necessarily always good. Fragmentation typically adds a slight delay or latency, so if you get that it won't help, but it would also also increase your ping. Some games don't allow that for different reasons and it's called don't fragment DF. In short it is a bit in an IPv4 header which most of us use that prevents a packet from being fragmented. It could be set in your router, game server, etc. In that case you may lose access to some specific functions. For example if you change MTU in the PS5 settings to a very small value like 900 or 850 and start playing a game like GTA V or Red Dead Redemption 2 online, you would most likely see that you are in a solo lobby because there is not enough space for data, so it can't let you in a popular server with too many people. You may become laggy and maybe others also become laggy for you too. Rockstar may not accept fragmentation. I'm not working with Rockstar and I'm not so much into it as well. But if you want it for solo lobbies, it works. Remember, if you want to send smaller packets, it's not only about your PS5. We have your ISP, router, the game server, and too many other factors. For example, some games are coded and modified their server to work like that. In Overwatch 2, we can limit the client send rate and another one is named limit server send rate. It means what you send to the server from your side and also what you receive from the server. 
It is a fantastic option as the game supports it natively. The servers are also modified to work with that, so you can try it and you may notice less lag, lower ping, or smoother gameplay, especially if you have that error on your PS5. Even with MTU 1500, it can ensure that the packets would get smaller so they won't drop. And that means at least your bullet will register even if it takes more time to send it or receive information. It will also have some priorities. For example, the primary data for the game is player actions. When you enable this, you may notice that the voice chat isn't working correctly and messages are taking more time to be sent or received. That's a trade-off when you want to send or receive less data to ensure it won't overload your network capabilities. It may cause higher latency in some functions and at worst, it may cause higher latency in your game too. Keep that in mind because you need to check everything starting from your router. I would usually suggest this if you have a ping above 120 milliseconds and try to see if the game not the chat or audio feels smoother this way even with high pings it may makes it worse for fast internet connections what about download speeds some people say i've got a faster download speed by changing mtu on my ps5 is that true there are very few situations where it may actually affect Let's say your network pipe is capable of 10 megabits per second. But when you send large packets, it may cause instability and doesn't let it use its maximum potential. Let's say it gets stuck a little inside and may cause jumps in speed. Now if I make MTU smaller, the packets will be smaller, meaning more packets can pass through and give me the maximum 10 megabits per second. Is that true? It depends, as I told you, it's not only about the PS5. It's also about your router and PlayStation server that you're downloading the game from. I remember when everyone had issues with PSN download speeds on PS4 and Sony recommended changing MTU to 1470, something like that. Because at that time they knew the issue, it was from their side too and it could actually fix it. But suppose it's not a recommendation from PSN support, at first I would recommend turning your Wi-Fi off Disconnect all devices from router and only connect it to your PS5 with a CAT6 cable. In most cases, I notice many people in the house using the same router. When you start downloading, maybe your phone is downloading some app or maybe your dad's phone is downloading something else. You go to PS5 settings, change MTU and see the download speed gets faster. Then maybe your phone or someone else, some other client in the house stopped downloading while you were changing the settings and you think, wow, it's amazing. It's because of the MTU. Maybe there was a device with higher QoS priority in your network, meaning it would prefer to give more bandwidth to that device first than your PS5. And maybe it got out. Maybe you are using Wi-Fi and it's not close to your console. Perhaps some other Wi-Fi device is causing problems in that band from your router. You move your phone or something else and it changes the situation. After a few minutes, you again realize that it gets slower and you may change the settings again. It's not true to say MTU helped you necessarily necessarily. What you need to do for speeds, ping, jitter, packet loss and every other test on your network is disconnecting every device and only test with one at a time. Then test your PS5 alone connected to the router with LAN. If in that case it was a slow first, ensure every game is closed. Secondly, give it one minute to see if it gets faster. Thirdly, change the DNS server on your console or just set them as automatic. Fourthly, recheck the LAN cable. Some routers show you if the connection between your PS5 PS5 LAN and the router is fast enough. Maybe a faulty cable can't provide 1 gigabit per second or even 100 megabits per second. You can check that in your router settings. They are more likely to slow you down than the MTU itself. The network isn't that basic to say if I change some settings and numbers, it will make my internet connection better and faster. Saying that this is the best MTU settings or trying to set up MTU like that, which I see a lot on YouTube, isn't an excellent way to do it. And I told you even if you change it and it helped you it doesn't mean it's because of the MTU. Those results might be caused by many factors. Many people who suggest something don't even know how it works or what is causing issues in your network. There isn't such a thing as the best MTU for PS5. Unless you know what you are doing you must not change it. If you want a solo lobby in GTA go ahead but if you don't please think about it. You must check your router 
the game client and the server and also see if they have a DF set or not. You would also need monitoring devices to see how big packets are from the server or from the client because it's different for every game. But why could you have lag even if you have a good connection with low ping? There could be many reasons and the MTU is the last option I would recommend changing. I can make new videos about jitter, ping, DNS, why your game is laggy even with low ping, how to reduce packet loss and more. But I'm not sure how many of you are interested in this topic so let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this for network on PS5. Remember that every game client, server, router and ISP works differently. So you can't use other people methods or settings to achieve what you want. You may get lucky sometimes from some settings but that doesn't mean it necessarily is the reason why it worked for you. If you want to know how to get open NAT type for any game and only on your console check this video next and let me know if you want more tutorials like this or I mean like this thank you so much for watching